looks just from the engine in general. Yes. And I think he's uh, at the forefront of saying, you know what? Forget about all these bandwagoners. I've been doing it for as long as anybody, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you what I've got. I'm still in the winner's bracket here at Genesis 6. Hardest and biggest tournament in Ultimate we've seen yet by such a significant margin. Yeah. I'd say four or five times bigger than the next biggest mm -hmm. tournament. Uh, speaking of buff characters, we have Myron and Olimar. Olimar, an absolute threat. It was pretty solid in Smash 4. Of course, Shutong showing up in Japan, consistently an incredibly strong threat. And of course, he made a huge impact in a lot of tournaments here as well. But in this game, Olimar is terrifying. You're very right. They, they both can have the same story said about them, right? Uh, Myron, since day one of Smash 4, man, back when he was nobody, I remember playing him a little bit on Wi-Fi. And I was like, wow, this guy's good. He's got some serious potential in. Here he is at G6, hanging on in the winner's bracket. This could be the end of his run, but TLTC might fall instead. Who knows? Yeah. Both these players very, very strong with their characters. Just, and I can imagine the Olimar just naturally being a very tough character to deal with. You know, he has so many good low commitment moves that just net him such a high reward. Right, that even right. for a character like Palutena, who has much mobility and as good as her hitboxes are, she may struggle in situations versus the character like Olimar. We'll see how it pans out. This is kind of buttons and throw combos versus projectiles and throw combos. We'll see if Myron is able to keep TLTC at bay. Despite Palutena having some good projectiles of her own, they're not quite as reliable as the Pikmin, who just tack on so much damage from far away. Three, two, one, go! All right, just throw in the Pikmin, throw in the neutral airs to intercept them. Very even start, almost no damage exchange in the first 10 seconds. Right, but finally, uh, TLTC finding that first opening with the neutral air. We'll see if he's able to smother Myron. That's really the name of the game for him. He has to stay in, stay on him. But the up smash out of shield, yes, such a dangerous anti-pressure tool. You've got to be really careful about what you're throwing at this guy's shield. Yes, such a fast move, both on startup and in terms of end lag. And of course, the yellow one, of course, inducing a little bit more hit lag, making it even easier to combo out of. That's a good this is a good lineup for Myron at the moment. Two yellows and a purple. The only thing that could probably make it even more perfect would be a second purple. Oh, rolling right past that up smash. A little slow with his own, but still hanging on to the lead is Myron right now. Going to push the LTC off the stage. Oh, getting a little too fancy, though, at the edge of the stage. Maybe trying to bait a hasty action from TLTC. Instead, he's going to find himself dash attack to the other side of the screen. Text the wall spike. OK, Myron hanging on. Beautiful tech coming out from Myron right there. Myron lacking a uh, purple Pikmin, and that'll be the end of his stock to that forward air. I said there was another one coming out in full force. TLTC was... just working around Myron's defense so, so well, but finally finding the mark with that back air. Now we've got Myron, purple and a blue, as good as it gets for a lineup at high percent, but to build this damage might want a couple different selections. We see him now with two purples. No matter what percent you're at, that's good. But yes. one of them dying in the process. Now, TLTC has just been doing such a good job keeping Myron pinned to the corners, really not allowing him to uh, get anything real, real started while he's on stage. He's going to recover, but this lead from TLTC, not insurmountable by any means, just still pretty significant, especially against a projectile-based character like Olimar. He wants you to come to him. Even still, he could force you to do that. The Pikmin are so dangerous from far away. Beautiful space with these back airs. A drop zone there, enough to take that stop. Olimar, of course, having a very kind of flexible flight recovery, but of course it doesn't have a hitbox on it. Yeah, Myron trying to use that flexibility to his advantage, but hesitated a little too much. I think he wanted to bait TLTC to come for him, then dip underneath, but TLTC very patient, waiting for the proper opening. Oh, fighting his way down, down air, and there's an up smash, not enough to do it. Yeah, purple up smash now, a little bit stale, unable to get the KO on Palutena just yet. Beautiful grab with the blue Pikmin and getting the KO with the up throw. Now, limiting himself to the double purple. Yeah, definitely the lineup you want when your opponent's in those deep red percents. Love the parry right there, anticipating the timing that TLTC was going to press a button at. And look at the way that TLTC is kind of jumping around Myron. He's trying to position himself sort of in positions where he's outside of that up smash range so that it's a lot harder for Myron to punish. In addition, he's putting himself optimally for that back air. 
Yes, it's that precious 45 degree angle above and in front of Olimar where the up smash won't cover, the Pikmin throws and the grab won't cover, and then you could just fast fall an aerial onto his shield with something like Polyzine in his back air that's so threatening. Once again, trying to find this up smash. Yeah. Mustn't be too overzealous right now. It's really been TLTC's go-to when Myron's on the edge, and we're seeing Myron consistently using Roll as the answer to that. So I'm sure with this level of conditioning, TLTC might be able to adapt. Hex the wall, okay. He's still hanging on here. Myron looking like he was about to close it out. Oh, and there it is. He tries to anticipate maybe something like a roll, but Myron instead going behind him and just getting the up smash punish. All right, game one after a significant momentum swing in TLTC's favor. What well, felt like his game to take. Instead, it's gonna be Myron sneaking in there, that final up smash so devastating as he crushes that final stock away. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if TLTC had just anticipated the roll from the edge a little bit sooner against Myron, because if he knew that Myron knew about up smash, could have seen him just go the other way with it or maybe dash, grab, back throw. I don't know, there are a lot of ways he could have answered that, but he bet on black twice right there, throwing the up smash right at the edge. It's great against every other option. Yep. Getting a shift to Battlefield, it seems. This time going for the uh, Reset Bomb Battlefield. Very interesting choice. It's so drab, you know? It's very, like, gray and gloomy. I'm surprised that you wouldn't go for something like Palutena's Temple Battlefield with the same music choices, but... Yeah, you know what? He was on the rule set committee that made Palutena's Temple one of the starters in uh, Smash 4, right? So, mm -hmm. surprised not to see that. Either way, we are here on this very grim stage. All that smoke in the background, and the crows flying. I feel like I'm in an episode of Game of Thrones in Winterfell. <laughs> oh, what? That is 70% on TLTC already. That's a combination of the Pikmin latch and, of course, the attacks coming out from Myron. Dash attack, sending some of that pressure off. Of course, no buttons in the world are going to get through that one. But Myron saying, you know what? Even though my character is very projectile based and zoning heavy, I'm still going to swing on you when I'm in a bad spot. Getting his way off that platform. Got. Oh, okay. Wow, that Pikmin just kind of perished. <laughs> yeah, but... just dying. That dash attack for TLTC actually throughout this entire set so far has been doing a ton of work for him, just allowing him to get so many punishes to just close the gap versus Myron in positions where he thinks he's comfortable at that long range. You saw on the left edge there, TLTC trying to preemptively cover the roll. Myron gave it to him, but just because of the distance on ledge rolls in this game, he was able to slip through and have that forward smash whiff. That's an easy neutral out the stage, and that'll be the first stop going to T TLTC. Ledge cancels, yeah, TLTC not gonna mess those up. Too yeah. many years of research and practice on that. Years of research indeed. But another advantage on this uh, on this stage for TLTC is of course, he has more recovery options. He's able to warp onto those platforms if he's stuck in those precarious situations. Oh, crushes him down with that down air, immediate stop, and now a two stock lead for TLTC. Definitely coming into his own in the set, figuring out the Olimar matchup as he goes perhaps, but of course, he has I'm Hip in his region. Amazing Olimar player who just took Lugini out a few sets ago uh, wow. on the main stream. Yep. Oh, man. And TLTC just fighting his way through this storm of Pikmin, but relatively unfazed. Only sitting at 40%. He has lapped Myron by this juncture. Okay. Keeping it going. Forcing him off stage. And Olimar so vulnerable in a position like this. All these well-placed back airs, all these well-placed dash attacks coming out from TLTC. I said though the damage is steadily building and those purples are on deck. How is Myron gonna force his way back into the center? Alright, finding an opening, some room to breathe. And then up smash covering behind Olimar out of shield is so dangerous. Even crossing you up is not gonna keep you safe in your attacking attempts. There we go, another up smash closing out TLTC's life. Myron has so much work to do, but I'm sure he's made crazier comebacks in this time. Yeah, once again, he still has a double purple on deck. Those will be essential for him to make this comeback. Tries to read the uh, the get-up option with the up smash once again, but it doesn't find its mark. Fucking those Pikmin. He's got a white and two purples. Great lineup, especially for this low percent. Build the damage for white. Keep them away with purples. And then... Drop the net. Good recovery from Myron. Kind of hugging the stage in order to get back. Catches the spot dodge, TLTC just gonna drift through, back air, I like that cross up. Oh, and he falls out of the first hit of Nair. That could have been Myron's life. Let's the grab into the back throw, that is Ooh. enough. That is so strong. 
even from not quite the center or the edge of the stage. We're gonna see TLTC closing that out. Brings to a game three. Yeah, Olamai, very, very light character, of course, just kind of tossed aside by that Palutena back throw. One of her most significant buffs. It was a decent kill throw, like 150, 160 in Smash 4, but now it's really strong. Yeah, very, very potent kill throw now. All right, and heading into the third and final match of the game, I think we're going to see Myron try to open up the playing field a little bit more, mm -hmm. get some space. I'd anticipate Final Destination being banned on TLTC's part. I'm not sure where the second ban he's going to go with is, but either way, the more space, the better for a character like Olimar, especially when you want to get the pressure off of you. You want Palutena off your back. Triplats were great for TLTC to do that. Yeah. Definitely see a potential stage like FD or PS2 or Town and City. Some of the biggest stages, of course. Gotta pick the song. Yeah, Plaza, that's the that's the winner for this stage, I think. Oh, all right, going for the title theme. The Don't new, even know what this one sounds like. One of the new remixes to Smash Ultimate for this, uh, for the Animal Crossing stages. Ah, uh, for the battle-themed yeah. music. One final game, Olimar vs. Palutena, Myron vs. TLCT here on a town and city. Okay, gonna fire the auto reticle to open things up. Usually it's Olimar checking the projectiles, but Palutena has some good ones of her own. Of course, a reflector as well built into her counter. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen that at all from TLTC, having the Pikmin latch onto Myron, but maybe just too much of a commitment, too many frames spent if Myron manages to read it and just go for a grab instead. Most likely. You see the Pikmin still latching onto TLTC after those few opening hits. He hasn't been able to get much of a word in edgewise. Like I said though, he's closing the gap just bit by bit. Very nice neutral air off stage. Myron needs to fight his way back. Another great neutral air. Yep, just gonna prevent him from getting back to the center. Force into that up B. Again, no hitbox on that for Olimar, even though he can act out of it. Oh, oh! super armoring through the explosive flame. Excellent stuff to Myron right there. That was brilliant stuff. Just a few frames of super armor available to him, enough to outlast explosive flame and keep him alive. And now double purple once again on deck, getting that up smash for the KO. Myron is in a great spot. Oh, the shield break! Oh my goodness, that is going to be a very hard punish. Is that going to be KO? Wow! Oh, oh, still alive! Just barely not enough. And Olimar, one of the most devastating characters off a of shield break because he can have the Pikmin latch onto you and yeah. deal damage without knocking you out of that stun state. He optimized that punish as much as he could, but unable to get the KO and now losing his stock. 75% deficit for TLTC. A snap right to the ledge. It's dangerous territory for TLTC. Two purples online for Myron, or sorry, just one. They're so big that sometimes it looks like there's two of them. Yeah. Either way, this could be the end of the second stock room very soon. We're going to see Fair to Dash Attack keeps it going, but no! A spaghetti oh, no. situation right there. Did Un not expect that. Unfortunate. All right, TLTC, what's he going to do off this respawn? No clean hit with the invincibility. Has to keep fighting. And to knock Myron off stage with forward tilt, but man, you need to get these big meaningful hits or at least very long strings of lighter hits to keep the momentum in your favor. Oh, is that it? No, no Town City is such yeah. a high ceiling now. Yep. Again, trying for that up smash. He hasn't landed one yet, but he will keep trying just because of how good that move is when it lets him up. Excellent forward air right there. He needed that to keep himself in this game. Despite Town City's high ceiling, it does have relatively close Horizontal Blast Zones. And right back in this game he is. TLTC hanging on. Only a tiny deficit at this point. The grab combos. Really just one good grab into multiple neutral air conversion will put him back in the lead. Of course not anymore as Myron's tacked on a bunch of hits of his own. Yeah. What's the landing trap? Okay, Myron just gonna retreat. Keep chucking the Pikmin. Myron making this really, really difficult. Great spacing, retreating back with those Pikmin and just using that up smash and that forward smash so, so effectively. Oh, two dash attacks, not letting Myron swing on the way down even if he had chosen to do so. Dash that attacks. time he will. Mm -hmm. Dash attacks doing so much work for TLTC, just finding his way in and forcing Myron into the air. This is definitely not impossible, but very, very difficult for TLTC. Once again, the double purple is online for, for Myron. 
both, both purples ditched, but the down smash two frame catching that warp. Excellent stuff to Myron. He will take that set 2-1.